Uh, this is our grain closet. Meet Paul Ayub. He's a 47-year-old Nagatuck resident who loves living green. One of the things to do is to eat well and you know, take a little quiet time and you know, try to make a little less of a footprint on the planet, right? He's also one of 230 Connecticut homeowners to close a lease of solar panels through the CT Solar Lease Program. With the help of state and federal rebates, he'll pay a flat rate of $124 per month over the 15-year life of the lease. The panel's photovoltaic cells are expected to generate 98% of his home's electricity. The rest he'll buy the old-fashioned way from his electric company. Over the course of a year, Ayub figures solar power will cost only a couple hundred dollars more than what he pays now. It's a nice feeling, you know. Plus you're doing your part, you know. And it Today is installation day. Ayub and Sunlight Solar Energy, the company attaching the panels to his roof, took a citizen's news camera up on the roof to show us how they're turning this regular house into a green house. We're installing, like you said, a photovoltaic system. Uh, this one is going to be 27 panels and they're rated at 230 watts apiece and uh, that should give you about 5 kilowatts of power during peak sun. Uh, on a roof like this, it's a little less steep and it's facing a little west, so the best time of the year for this system is going to be in the afternoons in the summer. Now you're saying these things are rigid enough you could actually walk? Wow. They're... Oh yeah. They can walk on them. Oh my god. Alright, wow. These rails have to be exactly uh, 61 and a half. Yeah. You can pretty much put a tape measure there. anywhere and you're going to find that all throughout this entire installation all these rails are Within exactly oh look at this I mean it's like on the mark and you can see the ceiling I mean this is this is how we seal you can see there's uh, plenty of sealant yeah, no, this is good. That's that's what you want right there. You want. That's looking like it's not going anywhere. No, it's not going anywhere because it's in your rafter and it's not going to leak because it's completely sealed. It's also going to be underneath the array, so you have a little added weather protection there. You look under there. Hey. We kind of have to we uh, weave a little web of of wires around and try to make sure that it all pretty much stays from from touching the roof. Less heat into the roof, you can yeah, feel yeah. the difference between the this temperature and this temperature is a little cooler. Um, but uh, you still find that the temperature of the roof affects the voltage significantly, so that's why you keep the wires off the roof. Not only from uh, fraying, you don't want them to fray right. by being on the on the asphalt, because obviously yep, it's a sandpaper stuff. basically. So if you have wind and they're flapping around in the wind, it's Done. you know yeah they're gonna eventually uh, get uh, right. you know uh -huh. nicks in them or whatever. This is oh, uh, going right into your roof. Nice. This is all the wires and. Uh, Oh, beautiful. It's a no cock flashing, and it just runs. It dribbles right down. You know. But if, is this covered now? Yeah, I mean that's. So this is also rack co covered. By it's going to be underneath the panels. Yeah. The number of applicants to the CT Solar Lease program has increased every month since it was launched in November 2008. In addition to the 230 leases already closed, another 310 have been approved and should be closed soon. More information is available at ctsolarlease.com. In Nagata, Callum Borchers, Citizens News.